And we're back in the Davis Media Access Studio for another episode of The City Considers. My name is Autumn Labbe Renault, and I'm your host. And I'm very pleased to have with me two of the city of Davis's finest today. We have Bob Bowen, who is the city's um, public relations manager, and we have Stacy Winton, who is the media and communications officer. And I'd like to welcome you both. Thanks for coming in today. Thanks Thank you for, for inviting us. Yeah. So we're capping off quite a big year. I think this, this centennial celebration has probably, for city staff, has probably added a new dimension to your workloads and everything. Uh, it's been a year full of activities, new logos. We even have the new logo here. Um, so we're looking forward to kind of hearing some of the, the milestones from uh, the year ahead. I think we're going to start with some slides you sent, and we'll have you just kind of walk us through those. So if Diane, you'll bring up the first one. And you tell us what we're looking at. Well, that picture right there is uh, Davis 1945, so it's looking up north on G Street, which basically shows that the city of Davis is about two blocks long. You see all the, uh, <laughs> uh, the trees starting there right next to the, uh, the train station. But we want to shout out to the UC Davis Library Special Collections, who really helped us put together a historic slideshow that we've been able to take all over the town over the last uh, eight, nine months. Which is great. And we had one more historic one here, too. What are we looking at here? Well, uh, the 4th of July, uh, they used to have a parade. This is uh, now C Street. That's the old uh, uh, fraternity house across from sure. now uh, Central Park. So uh, everybody would uh, gather at the old grammar school where the uh, Bike Hall of Fame is in Central Park. And they would decorate their bikes and then parade around the downtown because they would say on that side of B Street, because B Street at that point was still uh, Lincoln Highway. People were going coast to coast on uh, what is now B Street. So. Fourth of July uh, parade, and then they'd end up in the sunken sycamore area in the shade, because uh, as we all know, Fourth of July is pretty hot. Yeah, and that's, so that was 1958. Okay, and yep. moving on. This is uh, the Davis 100 photo shoot. We had 233 city employees and current and former council members come out uh, to form the shape of 100. We had a drone fly over, take our photo, <laughs> and then we had a, a great uh, employee picnic afterwards. Nice. So no logistics to coordinate there or anything. <laughs> None. 230 people. <laughs> and, and, and that, you know, that becomes an iconic uh, image. I've seen this image everywhere mm -hmm. this year, and it, uh, you know, it'll live on. Right. And employees really love looking at themselves and making fun of themselves. Yeah. Why, why was my head up? Why was I, who was I talking to? Is that and you, Stacy? right that's there? That's me. And there I am right there, yeah. And we're looking right into the sun. That right. was fun. Of course, everybody's squinting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, and the next one, please. Oh. Hey, I know this guy. <laughs> this is Mayor Rob Davis. The city of Davis and Sudberg Brewing Company partnered to brew a Centennial beer this year. Sudwork held a, a release party. They had uh, a local band and a local uh, food truck come over. Big party. Mayor Davis poured the first beer. In a uh, commemorative glass that we had. Yeah, the city I, provided commemorative you guys beer glasses. Swag. <laughs> we, swag. we did come up with swag. We had the logo and uh, t shirts and pullovers, the city staff, and, and even the public has been able to purchase and join in the uh, and, festival. And beer glasses. Uh, and, beer all, and beer glasses all, all year long. Well, Just tonight. a few beer glasses left. We started with. Uh, about 500, and I think we have about 10 left oh, if nice. anybody is still interested. Oh, 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 this is uh, picnic day. So in April, uh, <laughs> uh, actually the first uh, meeting in April, we recreated the first city of Davis of uh, city council meeting and introduced some of the original ordinances, including livestock on the streets. <laughs> and then I was able to uh, convince the city council to dress up in period garb. And so uh, in the 1928 city of Davis uh, Model A Ford, uh, fire truck, and this is them on the streets of Davis during picnic day, uh, dressed up, thinking what uh, a city council might look like 100 years ago. Unfortunately, that was in April and not July, because those outfits look warm. Yeah, yes. they, were. they were. They're very heavy. <laughs> Who's this fella? That's, uh, that's me on a high wheel bike. I've been known to ride those around town for parades and other things. So, for many uh, years, Bob. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I try not to fall off too many times. <laughs> This is part of a celebration that we had on September 22nd. It was National Centenarians Day, and the city found 36 nearly centenarians in Davis. Um, well, some were past 100, too. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, some were past 100. <laughs> um, so we had a luncheon for them and their families uh, to honor them nice. and their over 3,700 years of life experience. That's a, an astonishing figure right it there. It is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that was all of them. Now. What are some of the reasons to celebrate a city's centennial? I mean, what was, what was, tell, tell us about some of the decision making that went into this. 
over 100. I yeah. mean, that's a big birthday. How often do you turn 100, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, not at all so far, yeah. <laughs> but thanks. Because <laughs> Davisville originally was 1868, but the city's incorporated in 1917, right. primarily because the downtown kept burning down. So they decided that you yeah, need to get some fire you know, hoses to help put out fires. And so the city, March 28th, 1917, um, and uh, that's when the city started, and you talk, talk about putting gravel on the streets, uh, water systems, and some of the services and outdoor spaces and civic facilities. And so uh, over the last, and I've been fortunate, I've lived in Davis for about half of that time, about 50 years. So wow. I've been able to see a lot of it and uh, impact it in working for the city. But you know, when you turn 100, let's have a party. So mm -hmm. in addition to our regular jobs, uh, we decided to have pretty much something every month during this past year. Right. So were the two of you principally driving all the events and, and publicity related to all of this? Yes. Uh -huh. we, we shared, we um, developed all of the different events. There was in the spring and um, early summer, there was maybe even like six events a month. So it was very, very busy. We, um, Bob did a slideshow um, and highlighted the UCD special collection slideshow, which is on our website. And we took that around, what, five or six yeah, times? Yeah, at the varsity, at the university retirement community, at Stonegate, at City Hall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right got really great reviews from people. People loved it. Some people came more than once, even though it was the same slideshow pretty much, you know, the next time also. But they loved it. And it was interesting. Bob has a lot of, you know, unique uh, views and tidbits of information about what happened when and why it happened and funny little, you know, humorous things that people are just, you know, they just love to see. Yeah. Well, it is interesting. Most of us, you know, we go about our business every day. We we go to our jobs. We go home. We don't think a lot about the, how the infrastructure of the city has changed, right. mm -hmm. how the culture, the technology. Um, I, I, I mean, all of that. So um, yeah, when the people think about the city, they think, you know, how did City Hall come about? Historic right. City Hall, right. Community Park, Veterans Memorial Center, uh, even bike over crossings. How those things all came about. So we've tried to, uh, and then we've also had people uh, attend those that. We have streets named after, you know, the Childs family, Montgomery family. Those, yeah, so we have descendants who are still in touch about, you know, the history of Davis because their families were some of the pioneers. Right. So that slideshow and some of the other, you know, media produced around this, will, will it live on? Will it be at the library? How... It will be on the city website, some of it, right? We have a we have a website set aside just for the centennial. Okay. It's davis100.cityofdavis.org. Okay. And we have all of our events listed on there. We have photos, a historical timeline. The UC Davis Special Collection slideshow is on there. And our we'll, merchandise is on there. We'll be recording the, uh, the city uh, slideshow with all the anecdotes as well. So that'll be on there, too. We haven't done that yet in the studio, but oh, nice. it's coming. So That'll become a, a good resource for people moving forward and, you know, having to do historical projects and things like that. I bet the, the founding fathers, I think they were all fathers in those right. days, could not have envisioned what the city would look like today, what the university would look like today, the relationship between the two. I, I mean, it's just a lot has happened in 100 years. Oh, well, Davis would be a lot different, obviously. So the university for students are 1908. So yeah. the city came a little bit after that. And of course, when the city's created, World War I is going on. So, you know, the, the enterprise has been great about highlighting 100 years ago this week about, right. you know, conscription and, and, and getting people to volunteer and, and uh, you know, help the war effort and such. So all the things over the, you know, with the, with the trains, the university, uh, the town as it's grown, uh, because, you know, th there were less than 1,000 people for the first many years. Years. And so it was, it was a very small town, and uh, and with the you know certainly over the years with the different neighborhoods and the infrastructure, um, and I'm just curious about what'll be a hundred years from now. Any thoughts? Any yeah. projections? <laughs> <laughs> different. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I such a safe so answer. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, in, in terms of our growth, there's only so far we can go to the right. to the limit lines or, around yeah. town. But um, and we won't get into density. Yeah. And, and we won't we won't go there. Uh, you did touch on something interesting though the the train. Mm -hmm. So back then, the train was transportation. Absolutely. And I bet those founding fathers could have never imagined, you know, the network of freeways and bike over crossings and green belts and bike paths and all those things that, that Davis is kind of known for. Yeah. One of the ironies is that we don't have a photo of anybody riding one of these high wheel bikes <laughs> uh, well, well, we back do. in those days. <laughs> well, yeah, but it's kind of bit, uh, you know, they were popular in the 1880s and uh, yeah. at the turn of the century. So, um, but yeah, the uh, the founding fathers, uh, you know, and they were all men and uh, it was 
wasn't until the 60s when we had some women on the city council. Mm -hmm. And so, um, but the train, you know, Davis is not Davis without the train and the university. And we, we, we kind of highlighted that with the impact and, uh, you know, the, the pressures for growth and uh, demands uh, for services that the city uh, uh, has been able to, you know, support people in this town. And so um, it, 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 it's always been a challenge and we're looking for the next hundred years as well as documenting what we're doing this year and we're hoping to do a time capsule. Uh, so a hundred years from now, all of us will be long gone, but somebody, oh, what did they do way back in 2017? So we're, we're collecting ideas to put into that. And uh, would you? bury that at City Hall? We're going to bury it uh, at Centennial Plaza, which is going to be at 2nd and G. 2nd and G was one of our first intersections in town. It was right by the railroad tracks. So from the railroad tracks down to the intersection, we're going to redesign the entire area, landscape, hardscape, put in a public plaza, do some artwork. Um, and have a time capsule. Yeah. Neat. Yeah. So we're talking about the, that intersection as you, uh, right there by uh, Village Bakery, and yeah. there's a big yes. piece and of artwork there. And, yeah. yeah, in that area. Yeah. And that's basically yeah. where and Davis was coming started. west. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we'll have some signage about, you know, how the city has evolved over the years. Right. Anything surprised you in this year? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to talk about the bad stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I are, was surprised yeah. how many centenarians we had. Yeah. 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 Happily and surprised, you know, and they're they're such great people that they're, you know, alert. They have history. They want to talk. They want to visit. They, you know, we're excited to come out for lunch and yeah. just meet everybody and have lunch with us. Good and models for aging. Yeah. Yes. They, they have yes. stories to tell as well as, They're well, active. I got to go to my yoga class, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know so Some of them teach yoga. They're 100 years old and they teach yoga. Okay, now that's really it's, inspiring. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty amazing. So they, you know, great, you know, shared uh, history. Uh, and then we had some fun, you know, people suggested, well, why don't you put in some, uh, you know, some marijuana seeds in the time capsule? because that's what we're talking about in 2017. Uh, There's and, truth to that. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. Put an iPhone in there. Don't take the battery out. Uh, so, yeah, who knows what will be important 100 years from now. But, uh, uh, you know, there are some time capsules from back in the past and, and uh, to see what's in there. And, you know, hopefully paper doesn't dissolve and, you know, whatever kind of medium people use in terms of images. Right. So we'll, we'll have fun with that. Well, we're down to our last couple of minutes. So tell us what is yet to come in this year because it's only October, late October, but we still got a little time. Anything on the horizon that, that uh, you want the community to know about? Well, um, I would like them to come and look at our website, you know, and if they have any Let's historical. Let's that again. Davis100.cityofdavis.org. Okay. And if they have historical photos or stories, anything that they would like to share with us, mm -hmm. we would like to incorporate that onto our website. We received such great information from UCD Library, but we know everybody in town, they have old photos. They have interesting documentation about what happened at certain points you know, in Davis's history, and we would like to show that all on our website. In addition to what's there already, people yes. will be uh, mm -hmm. fabulous photos of, uh, of, of the different decades throughout our history. Well, I want to thank you both for coming in. And I'm going to hold up this, this shirt just oh, yeah. for a minute so people can see. And this was just released, this design? Um, that was in the summer. That okay. was uh, and designed, the one you're was released. Today the one I'm wearing, new. the baseball tee, is one that we just got today. Yeah. So get a nice yeah. shot of that. Anyway. You can go down to City Hall and pick one up. Or go to that, go to the Davis 100 at cityofdavis.org. Yes. That's okay. right. I want to thank you both for taking time out of your busy schedule and for all you've done to, you know, make this something special for the community. And here's to the next 100. Thank you. It's It'll been be a lot of fun this year. Good. It'll be fun. We'll see you in the next 100 years. Oh, oh okay. I'll be there. <laughs> 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 I've been chatting with Bob Bowen and Stacy Witten from the city of Davis, kind of putting a cap on the uh, city's centennial celebration in 2017. You can catch this on DCTV in November at 6.15 on Tuesday evenings, right before council meetings. And of course, it'll be online in our archive and on our social media as well. And thanks for tuning in.